All right, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to identify your Johnson or Evernote outboard and how to look up parts. So, first thing I'm going to do is find the model ID tag. Let me open up my picture here. So, that little metal tag is what we're looking for. Could be in this area or up here, or could look completely different. In this case, it is a printed label, also on the stern bracket. This one is off a 1967 33 horse. You're going to find these on the older, larger engines. This is the front of the steering bracket. Now, if you can't find any of those, you're going to look for the plug on the power head. This one says E50 BEL CNR, so we're going to go ahead and look that one up and show you how to look up parts for that. And then our main one we're looking for is the 7524-02625. So the first half of the number is going to be our model number. Second half is our serial number, which you're rarely ever going to need, but there in case you do. So what we're looking for is 7524. Let's go ahead and close this. Now we're going to open up our model number reference guide. Now this used to be on the Evernerd website, they've gotten rid of it, but I'll post a link to where you can get it. So first one was the E50, let's go ahead and scroll down. So E stands for Evernerd, J would be Johnson, horsepower 50, so our numbers is BEL, so we have BE, which is Belgium derated electric start, and then L, which is a 20 inch long shaft, and our main number is the CN which is going to be a C is an 8 and the N is a 2 so we have a 1982-50 horse and the model runner suffix is R which is completely useless to us so the second one we're going to look up but we're not going to sit here and scroll through this document all 80 pages of it so we're going to hit the search button and 7524 so what we have is a 1958 7.5 horsepower Evernerd now we don't need this anymore. Let's go ahead and close it and open up our web browser. So the first page I'm going to show you is shop2.evenure.com. That's probably one of my favorite places to look up parts. All right, loaded. Now if you had a Johnson, you could select that, but we have an Evernude. We're going to scroll down to 1982. We have a 50 horsepower, and there it is, E50 BEL CNR. So I'm just going to show you carburetor gasket, but there's all kinds of stuff you could look up in here. So let's go to carburetor, zoom in a couple of times. I wish they did this when you open the page, but they don't. So one of the neat features that shop2.evener.com has is you can just click on the number. So let's say we want item number 11, which is the carburetor bowl gasket. We click it, it highlights it, shows us the part number. 0316331. Gasket flip bowl. Price is $6.99 and it is available. So there's all kinds of things you could search through on here. Also, if you're taking it apart, you can go in there and look at see what's holding it together. Um, Let's look at the uh, the gear case real quick, or the lower unit, they may call it on this. And where is it? Right there. So that's kind of handy. Gives you a parts breakdown of everything inside and what you're going to be dealing with. Okay, now, the problem. Start over. This website only goes to 1968, so we have to go to alternative. Now, I'm not a big fan of this website. I mean, it's fine, just not the best. So we have an Evinrude. I'm going to click over here and scroll down to 1958. We have a 7.5 horsepower. Now, you'll notice this, 8012. It seems like this website just got a bunch of parts manuals and compiled them on, on here, which is great, especially if you're looking up anything older than 1968. The problem is they don't have everything. So in this case, the 8012 is our Johnson equivalent. It'll work for what we're doing. So this has a broken shift handle, so we're going to go and look for the part number for the shift handle. So there it is right there, number 26. Now, I just can't click it, so I have to scroll down. It doesn't seem like a big deal, but when you have hundreds of parts in here, it gets a little ridiculous. So here's our shift handle, 0376490, four in stock, $70. So 
sometime in the 60s they went from a six digit number as you'll see up here to a seven digit number you have here so whenever you're looking for parts you're going to want to include that seventh digit in this case it's a zero so just to see what they charge we're going to copy that part number and we're going to go to boats.net i order things from boats.net quite often but i also like looking uh, ordering parts from the Evanry website just to kind of keep them supported so boats.net has it for 6512 not a bad price but you'll notice here it doesn't really tell you much more about it I think that's because they use the Johnson Evner website to look up parts and they don't go past 1968 so let's go ahead and show you one of the beauty parts of boats.net we're just gonna look up a random part number here for whatever engine I'm clicking on fuel tank so we can select this part number we'll go over to boats.net paste it in hit go and in theory it'll tell you what engines use this same fuel tank so there's our list and any of those engines will have that same fuel tank so that's kinda handy but in our case we're looking for this seventy dollars is a bit steep so what we can do is we can go over to eBay see what we find and the part number on that so we'll go ahead and copy paste and 25 24 19 so this one is raw metal that one is the primer green I'll probably wind up buying the primer green one but that's basically the gist of how to look at part numbers well have a good one